Hello, kitten. Nobody told me you were here. You... Oh, don't tell me you had to work again today. Hi, Daddy. Well, I didn't want to wear out my goodwill. They've been so understanding about me taking off. Yeah. Hey, can't you do your own homework? Hello. Well, you haven't changed your mind then, huh? You still going to go? That's right. Woo! I wish you would reconsider. You'd... What a yeah. knockout. You like it? It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> look, Dad, look. The Capwells have nothing to be afraid of. If Lionel Lockridge wants to go on TV, then let him. I just think we should be there, dressed to the hill, watching him make a lunatic of himself. Otherwise, people are going to think we did sink that stupid ship of his, right? No, you were there when the divers brought the stuff up. How'd it go? Well, I must say it was rather dramatic. I kept an eye on the crates. Nobody tampered with them, but you've yet to see what's inside or in that gross old safe they dragged mm. up. I mean, you're going to watch. I'm not going to watch him have fun at our expense. Oh, at his own expense. He's going to look like a national jackass. It should be fun to watch. Well? I'm not going to watch. Well, it's, I think you should, even if it's in self-defense. Well, okay. Goodbye. Bye. Watch for me. I'll be the one uh, sticking my tongue out at the camera. <laughs> Come on. Give me a kiss. No, no, no. Night. Night. Metropolitan Museum has represented itself along with a delegation from the Louvre in Paris. But perhaps the most exciting surprise of the evening, Miss Eden Capwell. There she is. Daughter of C.C. Capwell, whose family Lionel Lockridge charged with the sinking of the ship and looking, I must say, very much at ease. They treasured what they thought was beautiful. The tragedy of the sinking of the Amanda Lockridge, whether due to natural catastrophe or to the rivalry... Hello, Augusta. You're looking, um... Well, this is how polite conversation goes. Oh, I didn't know that was in your repertoire. Aren't you looking forward to the unveiling? If I were you and the cat, well, I would avail myself of the next five minutes and beat a hasty retreat. Oh, no, no, see, I like these kind of things. They're like gladiator movies. Oh, the man has been mouthing off all the time. He throws the lions in the end. Oh, what are you doing here, Eden? I mean, if you were seized by a mood of masochism, you could have stayed home and put tacks in your feet. But then again, I suppose your social life's on the wane now that your supply of married men has been cut off. Oh, no, you see, I've given up married men. I'm tired of the complaints from their baggy wives and meeting them at parties. Glad you came. I have a deviled egg. You look lovely, isn't it? So how does it feel to be a real life flash in the pan? I was afraid you might not. What? Be here. Oh, no. Someone from the family had to be here to keep track of themselves. I stopped counting. Twenty. I'm not doing this to hurt you. Oh, no. No, you're doing it to ruin my family. I'm just an innocent bystander. I'm not trying to hurt anyone. This war between us has been going on for about a hundred years. Bad feeling. Both. Blame the other. I figure if we can find out what the truth is and face it, let it rest. Yes, but who really cares what happens? Excuse me. You know they always oversalt with that day. 